Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and we haven't looked at lever locks for ages, so I thought I'd do a lever lock video. And this is a very special lock, actually. This was gifted to me by a subscriber, Alexandra, um, the last name of whom I will keep anonymous, but they can identify themselves below uh, if they want to be recognised. Um, thank you, Alexandra. I really do appreciate it. And it was such a long time ago, and I'm sorry I didn't do a video before. So this lock is the Era Big Six. It's an absolute beast. It's what they call an insurance padlock because, and I think it's still the case with some insurance companies, insurance companies in the UK used to specify, some of them, that you needed a lever lock padlock that's insurance rated. And this is Big Six, um, as it says here is a big six lever padlock and it is a beast look at this quarter inch hard steel plate hardened shackle and that is a I, I don't know how thick that is but it's getting on towards half an inch of thick steel hardened steel shackle it's shrouded i mean you know you can see why this is an insurance padlock these days um i think the abus granite is insurance rated um, i don't know about any lever padlocks these days please comment below i'd love to know if you know so, a uh, beautiful, big, locked padlock. I don't have the key for it, but we don't need keys. Uh, and it's, it is really a lovely lock. How are we going to um, pick this uh, top of the range era padlock? Well, we're going to use Mad Bob's kit. Now, actually, I'll just go back a step. The interesting thing about this is it might remind you of the superior, I have to say that, Chubb cruiser i say superior because the truck cruiser not only needs a lot more tension and i've never picked it but it does have depending on the model false gates in it actually now i have picked the truck cruiser but it didn't have false gates and i used a two-one tool so yeah there you go um but this doesn't seem to have false gates which is good for this video now the mad bobs uh padlock kit actually comes with an upstand for uh, well, sorry, a tension tool for locks with an upstand, but this one fits in the cruiser and some of the other era padlocks, like the five lever, but not this one. This upstand inside the lock is too thick. So what I did is I actually got a key blank, a steel key blank for the era big six, pop that in, and you'll see that uh, it does provide tension. Well, you can hear that it hits uh, the talon at the back. Um, and that's just a modified key, so you can see where I've ground down the tip here just to where it would tension the lock at the back. I've ground down the front so that when it actually goes in the padlock itself, there's enough space between the key shaft and the lock body for the lever wire to fit in. And I've ground down the bow the key just to this nub so it'll fit in the tensioner itself, which you can just... There you go, tighten by these knurled knobs. There we go, pretty cool. Um, so let's have a go at picking it. So naturally, pop the tool in, the tensioner in, get your lever wire. This is a long one from the Mad Bob's kit. Pop that down. Uh, keep turn it slightly to the left and make sure that it doesn't catch. And then try to hold the lock like that while we try to pick the levers. Okay, so you can usually tell you've got tension on when you're at around 11 o'clock. So you are you haven't thrown the bolt, but you're tensioning the bolt. Um, I actually first did one of these in a brass key. That's a massive mistake. You actually need some tension on this and brass cannot cope with the amount of tension you need. Um, so let's go along. the the lever pack and just try and find six levers. One, two, oh, three's bound. So turn that on. Four set, I think. Five and six. Go back to the front. One loose. Two, three, four, five, and six. Back to the front again. One, two feels like it's set, three, four now, five, nothing, five, six, one, two, 
three, four, five, six. Ooh, hard on the hard on the hands. This is uh, it's keeping the tension on. One, two set. I think three, four, five, six. Keep going along. And what I'm doing, just nudging each lever up a little bit each time. One, two, little movement, three, four, five. One, two, three. swap hands a minute. Oh. Really hard to keep tension. Vicing this would be good, but I like to pick in hand, um, so. So one, try and keep on one, pin one, seems fine. Sorry, leave one, seems fine, two seems fine now. Three, ah, there we go, and I think we've got an open. Yes, now what we need to do is just try to maneuver. Ah, we've got an open. Um, so try to maneuver it so I don't trap the uh, the wire in there as I as I go because you can break the wire. There we go. I got full throw of the bolt there. You see it's retracted. I wonder if I can actually um, show you down inside there now. Yeah, you can see the full lever pack just down there. See, if I'm focused, I can probably get uh, the light in there for you. So there you go, you can see the, the you can see all six leaves there, one, two, three, four, five, six, and that is the uh the bolt talon there. And that there is the actual um the you can just see it here where my finger is, down in there, that's actually where the uh bolt would go. So if I can pick it backwards for you, um I'll we'll try and keep the in oh, let's just turn that down a little bit for you. Let's, uh, I'll turn back the contrast in a second, so you can see inside the lock, it'll look a bit washed out, but we'll try to pick it backwards now, uh, and you can probably see inside um, as I do it. So you tension it the same way, this way, uh, but you try to get the uh, wire, so you turn the wire almost the full way round, so it goes in like that, turn it like this and then turn it around so it slips under the lever pack and doesn't catch so let's try that so turn it easy to do on the desk actually like that turn it back around try to slip it under the lever pack and I think we might be there I think we're there oh Yeah, yeah, you can see me pick, uh, see me lifting the levers now. So let's get some um, focus and light. A bit washed out, but you'll see what I'm trying to do. So tension, and we're just going to go along and keep the tension on. Okay, picked. Uh, those levers, keep the tension a bit higher. Okay, we're good, we're good, and yep, we got it. So sorry about the sound there, but there you go, you can see now that that's um, how that gets closed. So there you go, you can pick it backwards, it's a bit easier picking it backwards than forwards, I have to say. And uh, that's what would catch in there. So. Yeah, hope you found that interesting. Um, I really love this padlock. It's not the uh, hardest pick in the world, but it is a fun pick and it's a real beast. It's it's horribly heavy on your hands when you pick it. Um, I'm gonna need a bit of a hand massage after this for sure. Um, so Alexandra, thank you again for sending this to me. Really, 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 really love the lock. Uh, really enjoyed picking it and really loved making the um, attention tip uh, for my uh, 
well, it's an extra one for my Mad Bob's kit, so thank you again. Hope you enjoyed watching that, everybody, and I'll see you next time.